Hello, Basehead family. Thank you for joining me again. This is going to be um, another SPL. This is episode two about secrets to getting loud, making your car audio system louder. And today I'm going to talk about um, peak cabin frequency. So this is actually caused by two things. One is uh, the Hemholtz resonance which is a volume of air in and near the open hole that vibrates because of the springiness of the air inside. So once you hit a certain point, the air uh, vibrates in and out, kind of like in your speaker box, like uh, the speaker moving in and out, and it's got that cushion of air, and it's reverberating, essentially. And the other one is actually, essentially, think of it like a box. You, you build the box bigger or smaller, depending upon... Uh, whether you want to go with a lower frequency or whether you want to go with higher frequency. And then you you uh, add several layers to the box to stiffen the box. Well, that's the other side with your car is essentially the cabin is stiffening up the cabin. So taking air out of your vehicle raises the resonance, vehicle resonance. So the, the they call it peak cabin frequency. I like to call it vehicle resonance. Uh, also, same thing, stiffening up your panels. The more you stiffen them up, the more uh, they're going to like higher frequencies. It's also going to push that resonance up. So you can actually change your vehicle resonance. Now, it's very hard to go down, and going down makes it very inefficient because you're, you're going to, you need stuff that's going to kind of uh, absorb that base and kind of flux. To, to go down, or you're going to have to build a smaller box so you can free more room up in your cabin. Now, how you can test this is by throwing a, uh, like a, uh, a 10 or a 12 in a sealed box, put it in your car, uh, built the spec or slightly oversized, and you're going to run power through it, and you're going to just use a, a dB meter to see how loud you are and see at what frequency you're essentially loudest at. Now, I know some of you are going to say, oh, I don't have a dB meter. Well, you have two options. You can go to a local shop. They might have one. Uh, call them up and see if they've got one. Or two, you can go to a local competition and they will run. You can use like, uh, you know, enter and you can use your turn essentially to do sweeps, cabin frequency sweeps. And they'll tell you exactly where you're peaking with your vehicle. Um, so that now that that's being said, um, think of the Hemholtz resonance like blowing across an old Coke soda bottle. And it kind of harmonizes. There's a certain point where it harmonizes. That's kind of what your, your Hemholtz uh, resonance is. So when you lower your windows or open your doors, your vehicle resonance changes. Typically, the more openings you have, the higher the frequency. It's like port. Like you, when you make um, kind of a shorter port but bigger mouth port, it, it wants to um, play higher frequencies does well it does better at higher frequencies so that's essentially what's happening and i know some people that you, you talk to and you're like well what are you peeking at and they'll say well with this window down it's you know maybe um 38 and they'll go with the door open it's you know 32 and then if our sorry it'd be like 42 and then if i open the other door it's you know 48 because all of those things affect that resonance so essentially if you want to get loud you you figure out what do you like to play at? do you want your window down when you normally play if you're going to go to competition are you going to uh, play music with the doors open, what doors, and so on. And that's essentially what you'd want to do when you run your test. And like I said, you can always uh, raise the resonance of your vehicle. So I have a Nissan Juke, and I added Vibraflex to the doors to essentially kind of plug up those holes. And um, so all doors, and then I added Vibraflex to my hatch area because... I, the metal was starting to, to break apart. And I went from 48 as my peak to like 65. Some of you are going to go, Oh my gosh, that's horrible. That's like, right. You don't want to, you don't want to go that high. You don't want a high residence. And that's actually not the case because there's something called cabin gain. So if I click on this, it's called transfer function, 
or call, uh, essentially cabin gain. And a regular vehicle has about a 3 dB cabin gain. And so let's say you were at, um, let's, let's take a look at this graph first. So right here I've got two Resilient Sound Gold 15s. I put in a sealed box and at six cubic feet. And the reason I'm using sealed box is because you have a kind of a smooth curve. So it makes it easier to show what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take a picture of this real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to change this up here. Let's do, let's say you start your cabin at uh, 30 hertz. Like a, a big SUV, like a Suburban, would probably be at 30 hertz. Um, I know people with Suburbans in competition, and they're around 35 after they add quite a bit of box to their cabin. Okay, now we'll go back down here. You'll notice immediately that it's, the curve has changed. Let me see if I can bring up that. Okay, there we go. So immediately just starts to curve off on this side. On this side, you'll see that little bit of bump. That's the transfer function. You're getting a little bit of bump there from the small uh, enclosed space, even if it's a, a big SUV. Let me go ahead and, okay, so let's say this is where you start. Got a big SUV, and you've got a 3 dB boost. Let me go ahead and see where we're at at, we'll say, 30 hertz. So negative 3.6 dB. Well, it's transfer function. I'll go on undespiel. It's not really going to be a big difference. Okay. 116, oh, that's, there we go. 116.1 dB. 116.1. Okay. Now let's say you've raised your frequency to 60. You've done a lot of stuff. You added a, a wood roof. You've added deadener, vibroflex, um, you've added, you, you built a box in there. It's a big box taking up quite a bit of room and it's just shoved this down. Well, you're not only going up 3 dB now, but you're going up 6 dB. And the reason is because you stiffened it a lot. You're not a regular vehicle where your panels are flexing. You're now more like a box, it's very stiff. So we're going to enable this and watch what happens. It's a very significant boost from doing those cabin modifications. So going up higher in your cabin resonance is not a bad thing at all that can really help you uh i will say something about cop cab modifications we're going to get a little bit more into that some cabin modifications if you're if you're going for strictly getting loud you're you're typically uh, you want to do competition you got to test every every little cabin modification you do if you just want to be musically loud demo loud then pretty much uh, the more you stiffen everything, you're, you're pretty much, usually you're, you're better off. One, at least for sound quality, you don't have as much stuff vibrating. Two, it, it'll affect a wider range of stuff. When you are doing strictly like a burp in one frequency, then you want to test every little thing. Add Vibroflex to this panel, test it on the mic to see if you went up or down, add Vibroflex to this, add the wood roof, test everything before and after, and then pull off stuff. That doesn't work but you're basically only helping your one single frequency until next time cheers